Manipur has been on the boil for over two and a half months now. The tipping point really came when the video of two cookie women being paraded naked went viral just a few days back. Although the incident took place just a day after the violence had initially started, this video shocked the conscience of the nation a few days back. It has been over two and a half months now, but one question still remains the same and unanswered. Will Manipur CM take moral responsibility and resign? The shocking video had also attracted fierce criticism from the Supreme Court, which called it deeply disturbing and a gross constitutional failure. Chief Justice of India D.Y. Chandrachud was quoted as saying, I think it's time that the government really steps in and takes action because this is simply unacceptable, adding that if the government did not act, the court would step in. Even the Prime Minister's statement came very late. That too, for a brief moment during his opening remarks before the commencement of the monsoon session of the parliament. Amid this situation, calls have grown louder for Chief Minister N. Birin Singh to step down. While many allege that he has been unable to maintain law and order in the state, some have also stated that he has exacerbated the situation. The Congress has demanded for Singh's ouster with members of their youth and women wings holding protests in the capital. The Indian Youth Congress activists gathered at Rezina Road in Delhi and the Mahila Congress members demonstrated at Jantar Mantar. Both groups held banners reading Stop Violence in Manipur and We Want Peace in Manipur. They also raised slogans against the state government in Manipur. Even within the walls of the Rajya Sabha in the parliament, calls for Singh's resignation rang out loud. Leader of the opposition in the upper house, Mallikarjun Kharge said, We demand the resignation of Manipur chief minister and imposition of president's rule, adding that they wanted a meaningful discussion on the two-month-long violence in the northeastern state. The Jharkhand Mukti Morcha has also demanded the resignation of Manipur CM N. Biren Singh, with spokesperson Vinod Kumar Pandey stating that the chief minister should resign immediately. Our party will hold demonstrations, burn effigies of the central and Manipur governments across the state. Well-known Manipuri human rights activist Veena Lakshmi Nepram has also sought the resignation of those in charge and asked them to take moral responsibility for the violence. The calls for N. Biren Singh's ouster have been ongoing for a while. Earlier in June, he had almost put in his papers but backtracked at the last minute after a large crowd blocked his convoy when he was on the way to the Raj Bhavan to tender his resignation. The women protesting against his decision had then emphasized on the need for stability and continuity in leadership, arguing that N. Biren Singh calling quits would only exacerbate the existing unrest. As for the chief minister himself, he had said on Thursday that his government was considering actions, including capital punishment for the accused persons in the video horror. But none of these measures have really brought any relief on the ground. Usually, leaders are expected to take a moral responsibility for such heinous acts committed on their watch and are expected to tender resignation. But N. Biren Singh has not heeded to that moral voice so far. It remains to be seen whether he would eventually resign. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.